Welcome my friend. I hope you are a fan of Pigeon Pose because we are flowing through all things pigeon in this sequence with the peak pose of mermaid. So have a yoga strap nearby to assist in that pose if needed. We'll also be taking the yin pose swan. So have yoga bolsters, blanket, whatever you may need to fill the gaps between your body and the earth so you can melt into the pose. With all things pigeon pose, we'll be focusing on hip flexibility and mobility targeting the psoas muscles, hamstrings, hip flexors, and it will also help release tension in your low back. Not to mention the amazing calming and stress reducing effect pigeon poses can have. With all that said, I'll join you seated on the mat. Find your comfortable cross-leg seated position. Sit up nice and tall. And take a full deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and exhale a sigh out your mouth. Shoulders relax back and down. Big breath in. Exhale, audible sigh out your mouth. One more full breath in. Exhale out your mouth. Feel yourself arrive. Let's extend your right leg out long, opposite sole of foot to your inner thigh. This is our half butterfly pose. So slide your right arm down the inside of your extended leg. And then we'll inhale your opposite arm up and over. Your fingertips are reaching in the direction of your toes. Go ahead and spiral that heart center towards the sky. Take your gaze under your arm. Your toes point up to the sky, kneecaps up to the sky. Send your in-breath into the space of your left side body. Feel it expand with your in-breath, creating space and openness. On your next exhale, fan your top arm towards the mat. Hands frame your leg, hips square over the extended leg and hinge forward. Your chest guides you forward, keeping a nice flat back as you hinge. On your next exhale, go ahead and just round forward. We're moving into baby wild thing from here. Bring your left fingertips behind you, planting your palm to the mat near your seat. Sweep those right fingertips forward, up and back, overhead. Press your hips up, rising to your shin. Fingertips reach back, gaze towards your fingertips. On your exhale, slowly lower your hips as you sweep your top fingertips forward and behind your low back as your left fingertips reach towards your toes. Then roll up. Moving into our first pigeon, seated pigeon pose. So bring your palms behind you, fingertips point towards your body, cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Bring your right sole foot to the mat. You can bring your foot closer to your groin to deepen the stretch or your foot farther away to soften the pose. Just meet your body where it's at. Now we want a nice long spine here. Flex your left foot to protect your knee and then energetically press that right knee away. Now press into your palms, into your right sole of foot to lift your hips towards the sky, taking a pigeon pose variation of reverse tabletop. Really press those hips up. Continue to energetically press your left knee away, foot flex, keep those hips level. Tapping into our core strength. Press away through your hands to lift up through your shoulder girdle. You got this. On your next exhale, with control, lower your hips to the mat. Find your staff pose. Extend both legs out long, feet flex, toes reaching back towards your body, heels reach forward. Arms at your side, palms to the earth, sit up nice and tall here. Breathe in, reach up through the crown of your head. And on your exhales, lower belly firms up and in, helping to support you in this pose. Good work, my friends. Now I'll take a big breath and extend those fingertips to the sky and thinking up and over a big beach ball as you reach your fingertips towards your toes. Soften and rise. 
Let's take that sequence over to the left side. Bring your right sole foot to your inner thigh. Half butterfly so you're not squared up over the extended leg but rather your hips are towards the front right corner of the mat. The extended foot is flexed, toes point towards the sky. Slide your left arm down the inside of your extended leg. Inhalation, opposite arm up and over. Reaching fingertips in the direction of your toes. Breathe in, fan your heart towards the sky. Exhale, reach your fingertips away. Gaze under your arm. On your next exhale, bring your top arm down towards the mat, reaching your fingertips away as you lower. Hands frame your leg, hips square over the extended leg, and just hinge forward. Chest guides you forward, promoting that nice flat back of yours. On your next exhale, go ahead and just round forward. Moving into our baby wild thing. Right fingertips sweep behind you near your seat. Sweep your left fingertips forward, up and back. Press and lift your hips up towards the sky, coming to your shin. Fingertips reach back as you press those hips up. Gaze towards your fingertips. Find that length and openness. On your exhale, slowly lower your hips as you sweep your top arm forward. The opposite fingertips reach towards your toes. Hinge forward. Tuck chin to chest and roll up. Moving into seated pigeon, palms come behind you. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh, bringing the left sole foot to the mat. Adjusting the distance from your groin as needed to help support that long spine. Flex your right foot and energetically press your right knee away. Feel into the sensations of the stretch within your body. All right, let's press into your palms, into that left sole foot to lift your hips towards the sky. Really press and lift those hips up. Continue to energetically press your knee away foot is flexed, hips are level. You can rest your head back only if it feels safe in your body. On your exhale, with control, lower your hips to the mat. Make your way to hands and knees for tabletop pose. Line your wrists under your shoulders and knees under your hip points. Lengthen tailbone to the space behind you. Crown ahead reaches forward for a flat back. Inhalation, intentionally lower your belly and lift your gaze for a cow. Feel out the cow pose. Your exhalation waves your spine through for cat pose. Tailbone lengthens to the earth, crown of head towards the earth. Feel out cat pose. Tuck your toes and lift your hips to downward facing dog. Our first down dog of the practice, so take your time. Feel it out, no rushing. On your next inhale, extend your right leg to the sky. Bend your top knee and stack your hips. Go ahead and flex that foot and lift your knee up a little bit higher. Press your solo foot away. Keep weight evenly distributed across your hands. Now from here, we're going to draw big circles with our knees massaging your hip joint. So let's breathe in, and on your exhale, circle your knee forward, down, and up, taking two more in that direction on your own, drawing as big a circles as you comfortably can with your knee. The next time you circle up, switch directions. Sink your breath with the movement. Keep weight evenly distributed across your hands as you draw those big circles. The next time your knee is at the top, Stack your hips once more, breathe in, and on your exhale, bring your knee through center, cross your body to your left elbow, over to your right, and then step your foot near your right thumb. Lower your back knee to the mat. On your next inhalation, extend your fingertips up to the sky for your low lunge. Go ahead and lower your palms to the inside of your front foot, then heel to your foot to the right edge of the mat. 
Ensure knee is in line with your ankle and not going past. Then lift up through your heart. Option to fan your toes open off to the side of the mat. And let your right knee fall open. Now you may wish to keep your front foot planted to the earth, or you can allow your foot to fan open, coming to the outside edge of your foot. Yogi's choice. Just take whatever feels best in your body. If foot was fanned open, go ahead and line it with the edge of the mat. Moving into a quad stretch, lower your left palm to the mat, draw your left heel towards your seat as your right arm circles up and back to clasp that foot. Now we want to kick your back foot into your hand as your hand gently guides your foot closer towards your seat, two opposing directions. Then just allow your right shoulder to draw back and take your gaze to the right side. Keep your hips melting into the pose to deepen the sensation. Breathe as you hold this delicious pose. Now with control, release your foot and circle hands to the front of the mat. Then heel to your foot to the opposite side of the mat. Then we'll lower your shin to the mat, right knee near your right thumb, coming into pigeon pose. Glance to your back leg to ensure it's in one long line, toes pointing back. Weight is evenly distributed across your hips. Fingertips at your side. Breathe in, arch your back, lift your heart. And exhale, slowly wave forward. Breathe in, rise up, heart shines. Exhale, wave it forward. Inhalation, rise up, puff your chest, shoulder heads draw back. Exhalation, waves you forward. Breathe in, ripple through your spine to rise up. Return palms to the mat, shoulder distance. Tuck your toes and press up to a three-leg dog. Bend your top knee and draw your knee across your body towards your left elbow once more. Then over to your right and lift and hug it up into center before you step your right foot near your right thumb. Bend into your back knee to step to the front of the mat, forward fold. Inhalation, slide your palms up your legs, lifting halfway. Exhale, slide your palms down the back side of your legs, chest to thighs. Big breath in, circling fingertips down around and up. Palms kiss at the top, then lower prayer to heart. Begin to shift your weight into your left sole foot. We are preparing to move into a standing pigeon pose. It's a super windy day here. So I'm about to have a lot of fun with this balancing sequence we're getting ready to walk through. Go ahead and draw your right knee in towards your chest and hold it there. And then we'll cross your ankle over your thigh and then slowly begin to sink your hips back in space as though you're sitting into a chair. Hands come to prayer at heart. Flex your right foot. Energetically press your right knee away to help deepen the opening. But and lengthen your tailbone to the back edge of the mat. Crown of head reaches towards the sky. Sink your hips a few inches lower. You got this. Slowly and with control, Press into your sole foot to lift and transition your body into warrior three pose. So leg extends behind you as you begin to lean your torso forward. Hands can stay prayer at heart, extend overhead, or arms can track back alongside your body. Bring your leg and torso in one long line. Smooth even breaths as you hold this pose. Hopefully you're not watching me because I'm falling in and out of this pose quite a bit. I eventually had to take a modified warrior three pose with hands to the earth. Go ahead and keep your hips square and even here. Good work, my friends. Now with control, slowly lower your back toes to the mat for a high lunge. Breathe and extend fingertips to the sky. Exhale to lower hands to frame your foot. Step front foot back for plank pose and take a flow. Exhalation, lower halfway chaturanga. Inhalation, beautiful upward facing dog. And find your down dog. Let's take that sequence right over to the second side. 
extend your left leg to the sky. Bend your top knee and stack those hips. Foot is flexed, knee lifts up, heel presses away. Draw attention to your palms, weight evenly distributed across. Pressing into your fingertips and your knuckles. Drawing those big circles with our knees next. Breathe in. And on your exhale, circle your knee forward, down, and then up. We'll take two more in that direction on your own. Remember to imagine that you're going up and over a big hurdle. The next time you circle up, go ahead and switch directions. Marry your breath with the movement. Keep weight evenly distributed across your hands as you draw these big circles. The next time your knee is at the top, go ahead and stack your hips once more. Breathe in, and on your exhale, bring your knee through center and across your body to your right elbow, then over to your left, and then we'll step your foot near your left thumb. Lower your back knee to the mat. On your next inhalation, extend those fingertips up to the sky for your low lunge. Hips square to the front of the mat, shoulders square. And then lower your palms to the inside of your front foot so you can heel toe your foot to the edge of the mat. Come to your fingertips and lift your heart. Option to fan your toes open off of the mat, letting your left knee fall open. Explore what feels best in your body, keeping foot planted or fanning your foot open. Allow your hips to melt as you lift your heart no matter where you are. Let's return your solo foot to the mat and ensure that your foot is parallel with the edge of the mat. Coming into our quad stretch, so lower your right palm to the mat, draw your right heel towards your seat, and circle your left arm up and back to clasp that foot. Remember to energetically kick your foot back into your hand as your hand gently guides your foot closer towards your seat. That helps to deepen the stretch. See if you notice the difference there. Allow your left shoulder to draw back, taking your gaze to that side. Hips melt forward and down into the pose. Breathe as you hold. Now with control, release your back foot, hand circles forward. Heel toe your foot to the opposite side of the mat, finding our pigeon pose. Go ahead and take that glance back to ensure your back leg and your foot are in one long line. Check in with your hips, weight evenly distributed. Fingertips at your side, breathe in, arch your back, lift your heart. And exhale, slowly wave forward. We'll breathe in to rise up, heart shines. Exhale, wave forward. Inhalation, rise up, puff your chest, shoulder heads draw back. Exhalation waves you forward. Breathe in, ripple through your spine to rise up. Return your palms to the mat, shoulder distance, tuck your toes and transition into your three-leg dog. Bend your top knee. And draw your knee across your body towards your right elbow once more, then over to your left. And then lift up into center, hug it up and in, and then step your foot near your left thumb. Bend into your back knee to step forward, forward fold. Breathe in, lift halfway, nice flat back. Exhalation, melt your chest towards your thighs. Take a big nourishing breath in as you circle your fingertips down around and up. Palms kiss and lower prayer to heart. Moving into our standing pigeon pose, so begin to shift your weight into your right sole of foot. Standing tall. Go ahead and draw that knee in towards your chest and then we'll hold it there. Cross your right ankle over your thigh and slowly begin to sink your hips back in space as though you're sitting into a chair. Hands come to prayer at heart. Flex your left foot and energetically press that left knee away to help deepen the stretch. 
Lengthen your tailbone back to the back edge of the mat, the short edge of the mat. Crown of head reaches towards the sky. Sink your hips a little lower. Good work. Go to slowly and with control, press into your sole of foot to lift and transition your body into warrior three pose. Extending your leg behind you as you begin to lean your torso forward. Taking whichever variation with your hands best supports you. Hands prayer at heart, extended overhead or back alongside your body. Bring your leg and torso in one long line. Smoothly from breast as you hold. Hips square, foot is flexed, heel reaching back. All right, now with control, slowly lower your back toes to the mat for your high lunge. Breathe and extend your fingertips to the sky. Exhalation to lower your hands to frame your foot. Step back, plank pose. Take your flow. Chaturanga to upward facing dog and down dog. We'll be moving into our yin pose of the practice today, swan, which is just a yin variation of pigeon pose. So on your inhale, extend your right leg to the sky. Exhalation, bring your right knee through to lower near your right elbow. Line your shin as parallel with the front edge of the mat as possible for your body. Don't feel like you need to force your shin to be parallel. Your heel can be closer to your groin. Just do what works best for your body. Back leg is one long line. Hips lower to the ground. And walk your palms forward until you lower to your forearms. You can hold it here or lower your forehead to the earth. Arms extended long or taking a bend in your elbows. You may also choose to rest your torso to a bolster or a pillow and fill in any gaps between your hips and the earth with blankets or pillows to help invite ease into the pose. We don't want to come to our deepest edge to begin since we'll be holding this for about three minutes. Set yourself up so you can settle into complete relaxation, complete stillness, allowing no muscular movement throughout the hold. Just allow your muscles to soften your body to melt further into the pose with each exhalation you take. Notice how calm you begin to feel as you breathe deeply in this hold.
All right, my friends. We'll slowly begin to navigate out of this pose, first by sliding your palms under your shoulders, then tuck your chin to your chest, and using the strength of your arms, slowly roll up. Moving into mermaid pose, begin to draw your back heel towards your seat. Your left arm circles up and back to clasp your back foot. If you can't clasp your back foot, you can use a yoga strap here. And if possible, hook your foot into the crook of your elbow. Now you can stay here or option to advance and extend your arm towards the sky, lifting tall through your spine, and then interlace your fingertips. Three to five smooth, even breaths. Beautiful, my friends. With control, release your back foot, hands frame foot. Now with loving kindness, navigate to downward facing dog, taking any feel good moves that may be needed to release from the long hold. Alrighty, let's move into the second side. On your inhale, extend your left leg to the sky. Exhalation, bring your left knee through to your left elbow, lining your shin as parallel with the edge of the mat as you possibly can for your body. The top of your back foot releases to the mat. Your back leg is in one long line, hips lower towards the ground. Approach this side with a fresh new perspective as your right and left side may be a little different. So just tune in and honor what your body needs on this side using your props to help invite just the right amount of ease into this pose for the longer hold. Once you have yourself set up, allow your body and your mind and your spirit to settle into complete relaxation, complete stillness, no muscular engagement. Just allow your muscles to soften and your body to melt further and further into the pose with each exhalation you take. Notice how calm you begin to feel as you breathe deeply in this hold.
And we'll slowly begin to navigate out this pose, first by sliding your palms under your shoulders, tuck chin to chest, and using the strength of your arms, go ahead and roll up. Moving into mermaid, you may find it helpful to tuck your back toes and slide your leg back to create more space. Go ahead and draw your back heel towards your seat, right arm circles up and back to clasp your foot. Now remember your right and left side may be a little different, so if you need a yoga strap on this side and you didn't on the first side or vice versa, that's okay. Honor what your body needs. Explore hooking your foot into the crook of your elbow. Explore staying here or advancing in, extending the left arm towards the sky, lifting up tall through your spine and then interlacing your fingers. Three to five smooth, even breaths. Beautiful, my friend. With control, release your back leg, hands frame foot, and with loving kindness, navigate to your final downward facing dog. Take any feel good moves to release from the longer hold. Slowly lower your knees to the mat. Sit off to the side of your feet to bring them out in front of you. Place palms behind you. Knees bent, feet as wide as the mat. Breathe in, and on your exhale, feign your knees to one side. Then take your gaze in the opposite directions of your knees for a nourishing twist and release. Slowly lift up to center and switch sides. Gaze in opposite direction of your knees. Enjoy. Now go ahead and fan your knees side to side a few times, going at a pace that feels good in your body. Next time your knees lift up to center, pause there and allow your knees to fall into center to kiss. Now make your way to a comfy cross leg seated position. Sit up nice and tall, my friend. Close your eyes. Relax shoulders back and down. Feel a vibrant long line up through your spine. Take a moment here to just connect with how you're feeling after our practice. How are those hips feeling after so much love and tending to? We're going to take three rounds of breathing with exhalations out your mouth. So take a full deep breath in. Open your mouth, exhalation out your mouth. Two more just like that on your own. Noticing how you feel now with these deep breaths compared to when you first joined on the mat together. This time, big breath in, circling fingertips up to the sky, gathering love and light, palms kiss. Bring all that love and light down to heart center. Raise prayer to your third eye and bow forward, thanking yourself for taking this time to connect with yourself, with your body, and with your beautiful being. Namaste. If you are a pigeon pose lover like me, come with the hashtag pigeon pose below. I hope your hips feel nice and nourished. If you enjoyed the practice, please be sure to throw the video a thumbs up. And I always want to give a shout out to the musician of this beautiful, peaceful background music. But by the time I'm wrapping up the video, I typically forget, but not today. My friend, the amazing music that plays in the background of my videos is from the talented Fred Westra. Always know that you can keep these Zen vibes going throughout the day by listening to his music on Spotify or Apple Music. I always include a link to them in the description of my videos. I personally enjoy playing the music throughout the day to help set a calm, serene vibe, and I always listen to them while I compose a yoga practice, edit videos, anything that I am creating for a YouTube channel or my Awakened membership site, trying to infuse the practices as much as I can with these amazing vibes. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. So much love from my heart to yours.